I got digital dash, can't ride with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got two the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burned up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. See, see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say. Leave a like on this video within the next five seconds for 2K to finally fix their servers. I would not risk it. Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fizz Baggy, baby. Yeah, another video today. I'm coming to you guys with another animation lit video. And today, I got y'all with the best lit packages in the game. And actually, I was looking at my channel. I was like, have I even done this one time the whole year? I haven't did this one time the entire year for current gen. I did it once on next gen, but I literally never did it on current gen. So today, I'm gonna be going over every single layer package in the game. I'm gonna be going over the best, by far the best layer package in the game. And it's actually gonna change your entire play style once you get this. I'm telling you right now, when it comes to doing layups, you're not gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna change everything, I'm telling you right now. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly when it comes to every single layup, what they for. I'm gonna be going in order of what I think is the worst all the way to the best. I'm gonna go over everything when it comes to every single layup package, why you would use it, and certain things that you're gonna get in certain things and certain things that you don't want that's gonna be in that package. So yeah, I'm gonna be going over in detail on every single layer package. I'm also gonna be giving you obviously the best layer package. But yeah, um, if you guys want more videos like this in the future, all you gotta do is spam, smash, and destroy the like button. Hit that sub button, we're on that road to 100K, less than 7K, less than 7K away from hitting that 100K. And you never know, we might have to start that banger week soon you never know but yeah um today i got you with the best layer package but without further ado let's go ahead half straight into it all right so like i said we're gonna go in order of every single layer package from worst to best so if you want to skip ahead i might have a time step for if you want to get straight to the best but i'm gonna go over every single layer package why you wouldn't want to use certain layer packages Certain layer packages are actually going to be better than the best for certain players because of certain play styles. So that's why I'm doing this like this. Like in the title, it literally says best layer package for every build. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is if you skip. But yeah, um, worst layer package in the game, hands down, by far, is George Gervin. I never can use it. I've tried it. I've tried it. It's literally just terrible. It's just a finger roll. It's an extremely low or slow layer package and you don't even get no hang time on it it has a terrible animation where you turn around and it becomes even longer but just a regular going to the rim for a lay is even long and on this game when you're going against glass game finishers and all of them gonna have hall of fame chase down you're never gonna be able to get it off so george gervin hands down is the worst layer package in the game if i could show y'all clips of me strictly getting my joint smacked off the glass i would but that, you know what I'm saying? That, that would be too funny for y'all. So yeah, that's a topic for another day. All right, for the next tier, we're gonna be going over pretty much like for a little bit smaller guards. Now, if you're a smaller guard, these are actually really good. So pretty much what I'm saying is if you like to do floaters, if you're not going for like dunks, if you're doing a lot more layups than dunks, these are gonna be good for you. But the reason why I wouldn't use them if you're taller is because, you know what I'm saying? There's just better packages of layups to get a more variety of different animations. Now for these, these are perfect for certain situations such as floaters. And if you're really not trying to go straight into a layup into people, you don't want to create as much contact as possible. You really just want to go straight for a lay, get you is the easiest two possible when it comes to lays. This is like an automatic two lay if you're using this and you got to be good at actually, you know what I'm saying, timing your layups and stuff like that. So that's what these two are for. And so if you talking about, if you really skilled at doing layups, me personally, the reason why it's this low is I don't time my layups well. I pretty much get a very late or a late every single time or you know what I'm saying, uh, early. I don't really get very early. So I don't really get well-timed layups really. So for me, these are gonna be low. But for a person that's really good at getting layups off, really good at timing their layups, and they really know what they doing when it comes to floaters and all that type of stuff, this could actually be arguably the best one but in my opinion it's lower on the list because it's more for like shorter people or people that's really really skilled at doing layups
All right, now, this is kind of more where we're going to be towards the middle. So we already went over pretty much two sets of layers. This is going to be more towards the middle. This is going to be kind of like the average. It's default small and default swing. This is going to be pretty much the short, sweet, and simple type of layups where it's going to be pretty much the, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be just the most regular, basic thing that you possibly don't do. The most generic, default type of thing that you can do. So it's going to be short, sweet, and simple. And one thing I would say about the default small and default swing is actually extremely easy to time. Now, um, does that mean it's easily blocked? Yes. Does that mean it, it can easily get contested and stuff like that? Yes. But with that being said, when it comes to just being average, it's going to be really easy to green. It's going to be really short and simple. And yeah, it's going to get you a pretty much a basic two every single time. So it really depends on what you rather. Do you want lives that's really, you know what I'm saying, easy to time? Do you like lives that's going to be pretty, really hard to block, really hard to get contest on, but you have to be able to time it more because it'll miss more if you don't time it well? It really depends on you. This is really more of that. If it's going to be extremely easy to time, but you're going to get contested more. You're going to get blocked more and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, it's really, really up to you. All right, for the next tier. Now, this is kind of, in my opinion, if we talking about the floater specialist, you know what I'm saying? If we talking about the fundamental, this is going to be those, but up a notch. So, Ben Simmons, in my opinion, you can use this on bigger guards. You can use this on anything, really. But, in my opinion, it has one animation in it that just makes it terrible. Because, you know what I'm saying? Just say, for instance, you're going for a layup, but all of a sudden, your dude just drifts away and does a hook. That is the only reason why Ben Simmons is not higher. But yeah, Ben Simmons, everything else is really good. They're going straight up, you know what I'm saying? For like, if you're trying to do like jellies on the right, jellies on the left, you want to just go straight to the cup. You know what I'm saying? It's really good. Even the floaters, even the spins, the euros, all that, really good. Now, Curry, we all know what Curry is. This is one that's just really, really hard to block. But for me personally, personally, it misses a lot for me. Now, I do know a lot of people are good with it because it's really similar to the float especially. It's really similar to the fundamental where it's going to be really hard to get contest on. It's going to be really hard to block, but it's going to be something that you really want to get good at timing. The reason why I miss a lot with it is because I never really timed layups good in general to begin with. But if you can time your layups, this could arguably, like I was saying with the fundamental, like I was saying with the float specialist, be arguably the best one. Now, in my opinion, is it off rip just basically better than Florida Specialist, better than Fundamental. I think that anyone, if we just talk about just putting this in the hands of anyone, it would be better. But if we saying like on the terms of, is it a better package if you know how to time it? I feel like all three of those are on the same level. I just feel like Steph Curry just has better animations for a wide variety of players. All right, next is going to be really more of like the acrobatic layup type. Now, this is not going to be nothing too crazy, nothing too high. But, yeah, you got to understand we're now starting to get to the last, you know what I'm saying, little tier. So, the next tier is going to be the last tier before we get into the best of the best. But, yeah, so that just pretty much tell you how good these are. So, this is going to be Jordan and James Harden. James Harden is pretty much like the Euro specialist. And in my opinion, Euros and spin lifts are the best in the game. If Euros, in my opinion, was better than spins, James Harden, his package would be right at this next tier it wouldn't be in the best tier with what i would believe is the best spin layup but the reason why that's in the best is because of a whole different reason which we'll get into later but yeah james Harden. but if you're doing your roles that is going to be the best layup package in the game for you it's going to be really good you're going to be able to do a lot of other things with it but when it comes to euros it's the best layup package in the game for euros for sure but you can do a lot of other things with that too but when it comes to jordan the only reason jordan is this low kind of similar to ben simmons it has some bad animations in it. It's not even just one, but the good outweighs the bad a lot more in Jordan. And when it comes to acrobatic lifts in this game, I'm gonna go over this again when we go over the best layup packages, but when it comes to acrobatic lifts in this game, if you have a different animation for every single situation when it comes to these lifts, that's gonna be really, really overpowered with a badge like Slithy Finisher, where that's gonna get you the best animation possible for every single situation. So you put this layup package with Slithy Finisher, you could argue it's as good as the top two, but it just so many bad animations with it. So I couldn't put it too much higher. So yeah, but yeah, Michael Jordan, really good for like a different variety of animations in one package, but it just has some bad eggs, but it does have a lot of good ones. But yeah, James Harden, if you're like a Euro specialist and stuff like that, you can, but you can also use it for other cases too. All right, for the last but not least, packages of layups is going to be Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, and Long Athlete. So, in my opinion, this is going to be pretty much 
just the auto too. If you're a person that's not really trying to do too much every single time, you want to be able, you want to have really good time in your area lamps, but you don't want to get contested a lot, you don't want to get blocked a lot, that's going to be these three. Long Athlete, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook. They're all going to give you straight to the cup type animations, and you know what I'm saying? It's going to be really easy to time these two. So, this is really just right up your alley. Now, does it when it comes to having a lot of different animations, like to four, like I was just talking about the badge I was just talking about, which we're going to go over in the next category. My opinion, no, it's not like that. So, that's the only reason these three are not in the next tier. But in my opinion, these are literally the best of the best. If you're a person that's like, because people say slashes is literally the easiest thing. So, if you're a person that's literally like a slasher that's just cheesing the game, running to the rim and holding X, this is going to be perfect for you. You can put either one of these three on it. You're going to be you're gonna be just fine so yeah um when it comes to just being a regular regular you know what i'm saying quote unquote slasher in 2k these are probably are you the best ones in the game probably the glitchiest the cheesiest ones in the game and all right last but not least you already know what i said we're saving the best for last the best layer packages in the game first one i'm gonna go over is circus this is not the best one in my opinion this is this set number two but it's really really close on next gen it's the best one because on next gen it just suits next gen better but the reason why these two are the best when it comes to slithery finisher it's gonna get you the best animation for every single situation possible circus has some of the best animations to get around your defender in any situation whether you're spinning off of somebody or just going straight up over somebody, it has so many different animations to just allow you to get that open layup and not even be contested ever. <laughs> I mean, I mean ever. Like, it's for real. Like, there's other badges that you can also put along with Silly Finisher to make the contest a lot harder to get contested and a lot harder to get blocked like Giant Slayer. Like, you know what I'm saying? Fancy footwork. A lot of different things. But with that being said, Circus is just... It's just almost as close to perfect of a layup package as you could have. But there is a layup package that is perfect. It has the, it's literally the best package for the most overpowered layup move, the spin layup, spin dunk, in my opinion, is the most overpowered thing. And this is pretty much like the best layup package for that. And that's going to be Kyrie Irving. It's pretty much the same thing as Circus. Instead of doing like 360s, you're just going around your defender. You know how Kyrie be doing double clutches, all different type of stuff to get through his defender to get that layup off. Yeah, man, Kyrie Irving's layer package is the best in the game to go along with Slither Finisher. It's the best in the game to go along with Slashes. It's the best layup package in the game when it comes to spin layup, spin dunks, all that type of stuff. It's Man, you can use this in a lot of situations also. Whether you're doing Euros, whether you're doing hop steps, you can use this for that too. So don't even get it twisted. Don't even sweat it. I'm telling you right now, this is the best layup package in the NBA 2K21. But yeah, man, in my opinion, that was going to be the best layer packages for every single build. I went over every layer package in the game. I left out two for a reason. Next week, I got y'all boys with the best big man animation. So I'm going to give you guys a rundown of the best big man layer packages in that. So if you felt like those were left out, that was for a reason. I will be going over that next week in that video. I'm going to be going over everything when it comes to anything that you can think of big man post score, jump shots drill moves, dunk packages, anything that you can think of, I'll be going over that. So stay tuned for that. Go ahead, spam the like button if you're ready for that. But yeah, um, I got a lot of lit videos coming out this week, next week, and then we're going to be getting into banger week, whether we at 100K or not. But I told y'all boys what we're going to be getting at the end of 100K. I don't need to say it no more. All you need to do right at this point, spam, like, destroy that like button, smash that like button, do whatever you got to do. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new on that road to 100k and 100k. Y'all already know what y'all gonna get. So yeah, man, if you're new to the channel, hit that 100k. It's that simple. But yeah, man, channel post notification be the first to every single one of my videos. Share this video to anybody you think is well. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fizz, man. And I'm out there, man. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! Before we go too far into this video, I want to make sure to go over this. Now, we were at 4.2%. We're all the way up to 9.7%. But still, 
90 percent of y'all that are watching my videos or even subscribed i know y'all mess with the videos we finna be going so crazy so you might as well hit that sub button it's that simple